Alright, let's go into sneak mode. Because that's what we need. Anyway, as you're about to see... Oops, wrong direction. I do have a map on my iPad, which is right next to me. But how useful that is going to end up being, I have no freaking clue. Okay, we have to buy some magic spells. At least the ones we need. Fetch spell. Open spell. Finally, let's get the flame spell. That's all we need. And since I kind of need the apples for something a little later, each one comes in a set of 10, so you actually have to do the math here. We now have 50 apples, so let's go. We'll come back to the dry goods store and buy some more daggers. Okay, the place we need to go is this way, so let's go that way. We'll go up here. Meet Froggy! Far from the frost field, fares forth to spider. Hunger has hurled me hither from home. My name is known in the north winds as Browgy. Barter whip blades clash or bargain with me. Yep. We need to give him some fruit, so we'll give him fruit. Here we go, guys. Apples! Fruit you have found to fill down my food stores. Bust the bargain, my gem you have bought. Bragi is bartered and all that answered the meat. I don't really want us to do any more of the rhyming. Okay. We got that done. Now, if I remember correctly, there is one other place we have to go and. Well, you'll see why in a bit. Oh, hi, Goblin. Yeah, I kicked that Goblin's ass. Let's see if he's got any money. Ten silver pieces. Nice. Okay. We go down. I'm not gonna try to speak for this fox. In fact, I'm just gonna leave you spring the trap. Do the narration. Okay, we had, luckily for us, that's what I was about to go do. Talk to the dryad. And that just takes us back to the healer's place, which I find very weird. Hey, a white stag. Let's follow it. You seem to have startled the white stag. Aw, oh, come on. You follow the stag into this forest corner. You feel as though the eyes of the forest are watching you. You watch the stag, fascinated with his grace and beauty. There's something special about this place. So it's like Arana's peace, I guess? The tree woman speaks. I am the dryad, keeper of the woods. Are you one with the woods? Yes, because we don't want to make you pissed. Then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. Bring me a seed from the spore-spitting Spiria of the North, so I then replant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical plants. Then, thus you, will you become a true friend of the forest. Okay, we have to go to those Spirias, and I know exactly where they are, so... Here they are, spinning Spirias. Okay, now you think you can get up by climbing this wall, but to actually get up, what you really need to do is this. Nope. There is. You climb the actual thing here. Oh, come on. I 
could have sworn that if you clicked on this, you get you can actually go up here, at least. Nope. How do you get up? Oh wait, never mind, did it. Now click on this and your hands go up so you can catch that seed that they're spitting. I'm playing monkey in the middle with a bunch of uh, plants. Yeah, I know, I'm borrowing that from Paul Dugan. I don't care. But yeah, seriously, it's like they know not to toss it in my direction. Or at least that's what you'd think until that happens. Anyway, back to the dryad. And since I know you guys want to see me walking through the forest for hours, I'm gonna have to do a cutaway for this one. Plus, we are back at the dryad's place. Have you brought the seed I have requested? You drop the seed into the dryad's limbs. Now this will boldly grow where none has grown before. Heed now my words, friend of the forest, and heed them well. Friend, you must know that there is an evil in this valley which reverts the ways of nature. The prophecy says that a hero will bring a young human from out of this darkness. If you are the one to accomplish this task, there is a potion to break enchantments which the healer can make for you. You must gather these ingredients. Flowers from Arana's Peace. Green fur. Fairy dust. A magic acorn. And flying water. Farewell, friend. I must return to my concentration. May the forest forever surround you. You see an acorn fall slowly to the ground. You pick up the dryad's gift of a magic acorn. Let's head to the healer so we can talk to her about this. Second thought, let's go get those flowers that we need to get. That way at least we have one of the ingredients down. Oh no, Baba Yaga's. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you were supposed to do which one enter, perhaps we can make a deal. Okay, first, the hut. Baba hut Yaga's hut will squat. You say the wrong. Sorry, I'm tongue twisted today. The hut will squat. You say hut to brown. Now sit down. Okay, what's the deal? All the other skulls have glowing eyes, but me, no. I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you in the gate. Well, is it a deal or isn't it? Yes. All I ask for is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. And to think, we were just trying to find Arana's peace. Another goblin. Okay, that was a little too easy. I found two silver coins. Oh, frick. Quick, let's get to Arana's piece. Wait, that's not Arana's piece. Well, it took me a while, but I made it back to Arana's piece. Let's get some of the flowers and let's get another batch so we can get some uh, silvers out of the deal. But while we're here, there's a spell here that you can cast and find another spell scroll, as you're about to see. See, there's a scroll there. The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You have you now have the knowledge to cast a Calm spell. Which comes in handy, believe it or not. As you're gonna see soon. There's a few other spells you can get, if I remember correctly. But let's head back to the healers. You tell the healer that you have been to visit the Dryad of the Woods and that she gave you a magic acorn and told you the formula for a potion to dispel enchantments. 
So you help the dryad. That's nice. She does keep the forest around here healthy. So that's how to make a dispel potion, is it? Thanks for letting me know. And of course, we now have one of the ingredients that she needs. Actually, two of the ingredients, because we also have the flowers. So you help the dryad. That's nice. She does keep the foot. Okay, we got the magic acorn to her. Now let's also give her the flowers so we can get some silvers from it. Let's get the other set. Okay, there we go. We now need to get flying water, green fur, and fairy dust. Now the fairy dust is actually kind of difficult to get. Or at least complicated to get, not difficult. I'm going to do a little thing to get some money. Job. Yeah, we're going to take a job and clean the stables for a bit. Luckily for me that I don't want you guys seeing this, so I'm going to end the episode here. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys for episode 3 of Quest for Glory 1.